So today in Minecraft, we're building a house, but it gets progressively more and more expensive. Nice dirt hut you've got there, Sonny. Check out my house. It's got an actual door. Oh, you think that's impressive? Well, I just upgraded my house to have a swimming pool, race car track, and a giant subscribe button. Whoa, goats, subscribe right now if you would like to live in this house. Oh, Sonny, I'm starving. I need to grab some cakes real quick. I'm with you, brother. Let's get a quick bite to eat because we've got got 30 minutes to kill. Yep, I'll take three donuts, two cakes, five cakes again, and four more cakes. What the heck, Melon? Are you gonna leave any for me? <sighs> Fine. And I'll take one dried kelp. You happy? That's not what I asked for. I wanted a cake. That's it. I'm gonna just steal one of yours. Whatever. Let's just give us two cakes. Oh, Melon. These cakes look delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna dig in. Oh, that was delicious. Oh, I'm stuffed, Sonny. Yeah, yeah, me too, bro. That cake hit the spot. <sighs> we gotta go talk to Steve, though. He's waiting at our new house. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be late, Sonny. We gotta run. But there's no chance I'm running. I'm too full. Yeah, I feel so sluggish. Whoa, our new house is gonna be beautiful. Sonny, I can't wait to live here. Yeah, I just hope we have enough money to afford it. Hey, Steve, this place is beautiful. Man, it's got a piano, a couch. Does it come fully furnished? Yes, it does and only for the small price of $450,000. It's quite affordable, isn't it? It comes with a lot of things for that price. Uh, yeah, Steve, that sounds good. <gasps> Talk to me over here quick. Um, Sonny, you only have like $40. Yeah, this seems to be a little bit outside of our budget. There's even an in-house aquarium, <sighs> but it's so cool. <sighs> Maybe he's got some other really cool houses that'll fit our budget. Yeah, why don't we tell him uh, this place is too cheap? <laughs> Look at something a little fancier. Sonny, he's gonna give us a more fancy house then. Yeah, I know that's the point, huh? All right, whatever. Yeah, let's go ask him. So, yeah, Steve, for people of our caliber with so much money, Money. Uh, this house is a little too cheap, bro. Only one grand piano? Pish posh. Uh, can you show us the next piece of property? Yes, I actually have a really beautiful and luxurious house. Follow me there. Sonny, what the heck? Steve is trying to sell us an entire building. Why would you ask him to show us something nicer? You know we can't afford it. Melon, we're too broke to buy a house anyways. So if we're gonna go looking at places, we might as well see the best ones for fun. Whatever, Sonny. Yo, Steven, this place is is beautiful and surprisingly small. Yes, but it's quite a luxurious property, isn't it? And the price tag reflects on that. The whole building is $3 million, making it one of the most expensive ones in my offer. So, yeah, Steve, about that, we're a little bit tight on budget right now. We're waiting on a big payment to come through. So for the moment, I think maybe you could just let us live here for free. Well, I just need to know your budget so we can work out a deal here. How much money do you two have to purchase a house? Melon, <laughs> how much money should we tell him we have? Uh, Sonny, I don't think we should lie. Hey, Steve, we've got like five billion diamonds and a lot of emeralds and some gold. Yeah, don't worry about it. We're pretty rich. Yeah, you're very rich. Yes, very, very wealthy. Sonny, that's a lie. We have $40 across the both of us. So we have 20 bucks each. Steve, don't listen to him. I knew you were broke anyway. I could just tell from the way you act, but I can make you an offer and I think you'll take it. Uh, what? kind of offer? I can take you to a special place where you can build a house of your own. Both of you will get creative mode and you can design whatever house you want. But of course, there's a fee for that service, which would be the amount of money you currently have. So I just need that $40 deposit. Melon, that's an absolute steal. Cough up the 40 bucks and I'll build us the greatest house ever. Here you go, Steve. Now let's do this. But wait, Sonny, I want to build the house. No, no, no. I'm building the house. We're not going to put watermelons everywhere. There's only one way to settle this, Sonny. With the never belt battle! For the first round, we will give you a budget of exactly one dollar. So you have to be very tight with spending here. There's not much room for anything. Give it your best shot. <laughs> oh, Melon, a one dollar house. This will be your specialty. <laughs> You're right, I'm gonna win this round. See ya, Sonny! You just admitted you're a brokey! It's okay, Sonny. This round is mine. No way I'm letting you peep at my beautiful build. Hey, Melon, hey, Melon, hey, Melon. I'm peeping. Hey! Go away! <laughs> All right, good luck with your build. Let me just get a couple of dirt blocks. Yeah, this looks like the cheapest material I can think of. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna build the most beautiful green top you've ever seen. One, two, boop, boop, boop. Look at this green top. It's 
beautiful. And then make the four walls. Uh, and we can't really afford a door with this kind of budget. And guys, check it out. We have 50 cents left. I can afford a wooden door. It's perfect. And just a couple more things. Sonny, I'm ready. Whoa, relax, bro. I'm putting my finishing touches. I just got two more things to do and I'll be done. I'm ready. All right, Sonny. Let me see your build. How in the heck did you build that? The budget was one dollar. Yeah, it turns out dirt blocks are really cheap. I splurged a little bit on these five cent torches, but everything else was pretty much priceless. Each green grass block was 10 cents. I wasted my money. Bro, why would you buy grass? Everyone knows it's expensive, but dirt? You could get dirt basically for free. Dude, that's why you never have a green top. Also, Sonny, how did you build something so big so fast? I guess I'm just talented. Yeah, lots of skill. Whatever, Sonny, check out my build. Okay, let's see it. Go through the little hole in the wall and... <laughs> What's wrong with you? Bro, this really is a $1 house. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that's the whole house. Thanks for touring. Well, Sonny, at least my house has a door. Wait, is yours even technically a house? Because it doesn't have a door. It's that new open concept, bro. I want lots of airflow. Plus, doors cost more than $1. You're disqualified. No, they don't. They cost 50 cents. Plus, uh, anyway, Sonny, uh, check out your new open concept. Yo, chill. See you, Sonny. My beautiful dirt house. First of all, Melon, it wasn't cool to blow up Sonny's house. That goes against the rules of our build battle. Wait, but he does that to me every build battle. And secondly, that wooden door was literally like $5. Wait, no, what are you talking about? And thirdly, Sonny's house is just way cooler too. So the scores are negative three to one for Sonny. Congratulations, Sonny. You won this round by a landslide. Yes, let's go, Steve. Eat it, Melon, eat it. Bro, what the heck? How am I going to come back from this? I don't know. It's not my problem anyways. The the next round will be worth five points to the winner. You have a budget of $100,000. So use that money wisely and let's see what you got. <gasps> this is something I can work with. <laughs> Sonny, it's over for you. Bro, 100,000? That budget's still too low, Melon. I don't know how to work with that type of mediocre cash. Okay, Mr. Wannabe Rich. Hey, Melon, I'm gonna invest half my money into dynamite. Yo, chill, Sonny, you'll lose points. You'll lose points. Yeah. But you'll be dead! <laughs> Yo, chill, chill, ow, ow. Uh, nice try, Sonny. I'm you won. Tag it. Dead. All right, time for me to get to work. <sighs> Let's see. <laughs> Hilarious, Sonny. That was a good one. Yeah, Steve, I know. High five. Time for me to get to work on my build. Let's see here. $100,000 house. I think my block selection will be quite nice for a $100,000 house. Let's start by placing it right here, the framework. Yes, build with the quartz. It's going to be splendiferous. Gotta work on the framing. Okay, guys, it's time to begin my build. So, I'm thinking something built quartz. Yeah, just gotta make the outline for this. A nice, simple, open concept rectangular build is what I'm feeling. This is the framework for the front of the house, and I decided to integrate the old dirt house into it. So, this should look pretty cool when it's finished. We can put in our doorway. Just got to fix the floor up a little bit. Someone threw dynamite at my house. And I want my design to be quite educated and smart, so let's add some bookshelves in the entry area. Yes, this is nice. Frame it up quite beautifully. And I think some trap doors will go nicely. Yep, I've done all the hard stuff. It's pretty much done. Now all I gotta do is add some finishing touches. Then I've gotta do some spring cleaning here and start to install the floorboards, which is gonna be a combination of wool and some concrete cracked stone bricks. It should look pretty cool when it's finished. Boys, check it out. It's beautiful. I've just got to build the top floor now. And it's complete. It's so beautiful. And it's even fully furnished. Sonny, are you ready, bro? Relax, Melon. I'm just finishing something up. Oh, I gotta get a couple more of these lanterns in quick. And I almost forgot the head of the table. This is my chair here. And I gotta put these in. Melon, I'm almost finished. Just chill, just chill. And... 
and done. It's perfect. Yep, good for you, Sonny. I guarantee you, I crushed you. I'm pretty confident that my build is way better than yours. I even integrated the old dirt house. It's beautiful, Melon. Let me see. Holy guacamole. How did you build this? Well, you did give me five minutes, which was more than enough time to construct something so magnificent. Wait, let me see this. I'm coming down. I need to see the inside. No way it's fully furnished. How did you do this, bro? I hired a little help. I'll put it like that. I had a $100,000 budget, so I said, hold on, let me call the villagers up. And the villagers called up the iron golems, and the iron golems built this beautiful mansion for me. I knew you couldn't do it alone, Sonny. I'm the only one that could build something comparable to this alone. Oh, so much say much better. Whatever you want to say, bro, there was no rules in this build competition. I didn't see the fine print saying no iron golem builders, so I decided to hire them. Well, I lost a point for bombing your house. Yep, uh, that was in the fine print, actually. It was rule number one. No using dynamite. This place is so crazy. You've got a bar, kitchen tables. Whoa. You missed the best part over here, Melon. The home theater. Ah, <sighs> Check it out. I'm watching one of our old videos. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, Melon, let's check out your house. Wait, Sonny, you forgot to subscribe right there. Wait, wait, why are you destroying my house just to show the sub button? Subscribe right now. Melon, it's enough. Enough. It's enough. They've subscribed. Stop breaking my house. Sorry about that, Sonny. Anyways, it's time to show you my place. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Chunk through the wall. Whoa. Your place is actually gorgeous, bro. It's a sleek, modern design. I'm impressed. Yep. It's quite gorgeous, don't you think? Yeah, I'm just kind of surprised with your choice of vegetation. It's a bit suspicious that you put sugar cane instead of watermelon. Oh, uh, Sonny, watermelon would not complement the complexion of this beautiful beast. Plus, also, Sonny, that would be inhumane to use watermelons as a display. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me try something here. You're telling me you don't think this looks cool? Imagine a tall watermelon growing off the sugar cane. But Sonny, watermelons are worth way more than $100,000. I didn't have enough budget. Dude, watermelons are like $2 each. No, Sonny, they're priceless. Yeah, are they? Then I guess you wouldn't mind if I did this. No, what's wrong with you? Why? That's it, Sonny. That's it. Anyways, let's check out the rest of your house. Yeah, Sonny. Uh, can you do me a favor? Oh, there's something really cool over here. But you have to be in survival mode to see it. Yeah, let me check it out. Whoa. There's some trees over here. Die! Ooh. Ow! <sighs> Melon, let's just get back to the house tour. You've got a beautiful pool. Oh, what's in the garage? Nothing? You don't even have a car? Chill, I was working on it. Don't worry. I'll get you a new mode of transportation. What is this, Sonny? Why am I in survival mode? No, chill, chill. Ah, whoa, creeper. Ah, oh, what's happening? I have no choice. Die. You just exploded your own house. It's in ruin. At least the guest bedroom survived so I could sleep here anytime I want. Whatever, Sonny. Let's just go see what Steve has to say. Oh, Steve. I'm pretty sure I win this round. Steve, come on, bro. He literally blew up my house. Steve, that's not true. All I did was throw animal TNT inside of it. And then Melon decided to explode explode everything. You see that, Steve? Dynamite. And he even used a homing dynamite after. Melon, I know it wasn't you who blew up your own house, but it was pretty hilarious, so I think you should win regardless. Sonny, you lost. Let's go! Steve, why? <laughs> I thought for sure I would win. Sonny, all dynamite is banned. I don't care if it's animal dynamite or what. You're not allowed to use that. Dang it! It was too tempting to use this on his house. <laughs> Since I already lost it, I might as well fill your whole area with these. Stop, Sonny! Stop! It's beautiful, Melon. Oh, there's only one thing I can do. Duh! Uh, why is it coming back? Ow! Oh, you killed Steve! You idiot, Melon! What are we gonna do without a judge now? We're going into the third round, and there's a million dollar budget! Well, I guess we'll have to let the viewers decide who wins this third and final round. <sighs> I'm building starting now. Well, I got to kill all these animals, Sonny. So give me a second. Ow, I'm not an animal. Why'd you kill me? Well, time for me to build my house. Uh, Sonny, what are you doing? What is wrong with you, Sonny? Why? See ya, Melon. Uh, 
Ah, uh, that scumbag. Ah, uh, I'll remember this. Okay, goats, for my third build, I'm gonna activate the ultimate cheats. I just need to make sure I'm high enough off the ground. Around 100 blocks should do the trick. Yes, that's good. And then I'm gonna fly right above my old dirt mansion. And it's time to paste it in! First, I used the iron golems and villagers to help me. And now, with the power of world edit! Oh no, this might be too much. This might be too much. I hope Melon didn't notice. <laughs> Undo. So I'm gonna need to be really far away for this build. It's a small cheat. Not much, guys. Not much. Remove the evidence. Oh, it's beautiful. Truly picturesque. And still slightly on Melon's side of the wall. Oh, that's kind of funny. Do I just leave it like that? Do I? I don't know. Dude, this thing is too big. How am I supposed to fit it on my half of the wall? Wait, I'm not supposed to. Better idea then. Let's move the wall. Do, 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 do. Nothing to see here. Do, 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 do. Yep. Ah, that's perfect. Nothing suspicious at all. Yeah, totally normal. That's it, guys. If Sunny wants to pay villagers and iron golems and all these mobs to build an epic mansion, then I'll do the same. But I'll hire the fairies! Yes, help me build the most magical, awesome mansion ever! It's beautiful! Check this place out! Dude! Where do we even start? Okay, let's start from here. Bottom of the path. You walk up, I have my very own tennis court. Whoa. Then I even got oh, a whole outside. Whoa. The outside is all meshed with nature. It's so beautiful. Oh, I wish I had a house like this in real life. Hey, Melon, my build is finished. Are you ready? I'm done, Sonny. Come check out this butte. I'm on the way. Whoa. Place is so cool. Nice tennis court. Yeah, dude. I've got a tennis this court and check it out this is my favorite thing look the whole inside is open meshed with nature it's such a beautiful design wow melon that's really neat yep i'm gonna have a house like this one day in real life hey melon you didn't even mention the best part of your house what's that you've got this really neat roller coaster that drops straight into your nature trail wait i i did not make this i don't remember this being wait what are you doing sonny what have you done what have you done oh wait sorry sorry i just want to test out your roller coaster no sonny <laughs> Yo, it was just your roller coaster, bro. This wasn't my fault. Sunny! Bro, cool house. That's it. Let me see your stupid house. What the heck is this, Sonny? It's my mega mansion. What? How does that even work? Well, let me explain. This is my basketball court. This is one of my swimming pools. These are some of my guest houses. I even have this really cool nature trail. You thought yours was awesome? Mine is integrated throughout the entire home. This is insane, Sonny. The only thing this house is missing is there's no roller coasters. But you know what? We can keep it that way. Um, Sonny, this pool makes no sense. It's literally defying physics. I know. It's called an infinity pool. Whatever, Sonny. This house is so awesome. What do you want me to say, huh? You won this round, huh? Because you dirty cheat. I don't know how you built this, but you definitely didn't build it yourself. Well, Melon, it's not up to us to decide. It's up to the viewers in the comments whose house is more epic. Guys, comment Comment down, melon emojis, please! It's literally not possible for it to be your house. You don't even have one anymore. Look, there's nothing here! And what about your house, Sonny? There's nothing there either. What did you do? What did you do? Oh, no, my house is still pretty... No, my, my house still looks pretty good, actually. It's still mostly there. You sure? You sure it's still there, mostly there? Melon, why? It's completely it's gone! <laughs> It's not cool, bro. I worked super hard on that. Die! I'll even destroy the foundations it was built on! What is wrong with you? Wait, Sonny, I don't have creative mode! I'm falling! Wait, water clutch! Ooh, fresh landing. Wait, no! I've lost creative as well! Oh, <gasps> barely clutched that landing. Uh, Sonny? We don't have a home! Why did we explode both of our beautiful mega mansions? Bro, that's literally your fault. I destroyed your puny mansion, and you obliterated the mega mansion we could have lived there forever but melon don't worry legend has it the green top is the best house ever you're right sonny it's beautiful and so cozy sonny what are you doing in green emerald bank hurry up yo you need to chill i'm talking to the villagers i'm negotiating right now give me a second yeah what was that gort 
Yeah? The plot's still available? Oh, this is perfect. And you're gonna give us creative mode to try making a build for it? Oh, thank you, Gort. Appreciate it. Melon, I've got great news, bro. What is it? I can't tell you yet. I'd rather show you. Okay. <laughs> what are you gonna show me? Let's go! Wait, I just realized I'm in creative mode. What the heck happened? Yeah, I negotiated with the villagers at the bank. They gave us creative mode for our new build. <laughs> yes. Sorry, what'd you say, Sonny? It's really loud back here. I said they gave us creative mode for our new build that we're gonna be working on soon. Okay, thanks, Sonny. Press the video on screen to keep watching this story.